Hey guys, it's Carly, AKA the Enchanted Agent with Real Broker. I'm your Disney loving Central Florida realtor. And today I'm at a model home that you're not gonna wanna mix. It's full of luxury upgrades and it's absolutely gorgeous. By the way, we're in Apopka, Florida today. So let's go take a look. Now, before we start touring this beautiful home, let's talk about the layout. So it's a four bedroom, three bathroom, and it's 2,361 square feet. Keep in mind, they do use this model home to do closings. So a lot of the bedrooms are set up as offices. So you'll have to use your imagination a little bit, but nonetheless, this model is so gorgeous and it's full of tons of upgrades. So let's start the tour here. So there's two bedrooms right here. As a reminder, it's set up as offices. This could totally be used as a bedroom though. It has closets. So here's the first bedroom. And then right across the hall, bedroom number two, same story. It's set up as an office, but this is a bedroom with a closet. And then you'll see in between these two bedrooms, there's a bathroom. A little disclaimer, since they do use this for mobile closings, the bathroom looks a little bit different because it has to be ADA accessible. So the bathroom looks a little bit different. This would be different looking in the actual home. But just to give you an idea, there is a shared bathroom in between these two bedrooms. And now let's get into the best part of the house. Look how gorgeous and huge this is. So first I wanna point out the dining area. This table is massive, it seats six, and honestly there's room for more. So you've got huge potential for entertaining spaces in here. If you have a bigger family, if you like to have a lot of gatherings and parties, this house is the place to be. And then this living room, I can't even get over how massive it is. Look how much furniture is in here and there's still so much space to add more. I am obsessed with this floor plan. Um, and then we will get into the kitchen and I will discuss what is included with the price. But I also want to point out some of the upgrades that are in this model home. Now, a lot of times in these communities, they put upgrades in the model home to look, make them look better, but they're not standard in the price. But there's a lot of upgrades in this community and this model home that are included as standard. This is a little bit of a higher end DR Horton home. So you're going to get a little bit more for the price. So first and foremost, I wanted to point out that these, the hardware on these cabinets is standard and they're an upgrade. And then the crown molding at the top of these cabinets, that's also standard. You usually don't see that. Same with this backsplash. Um, the flooring as well, it may vary depending on what the builder has selected for the home, but either this flooring, which is tile, it's beautiful, or larger tile floors will be selected. And that's a little bit above the builder grade that they usually put in these homes. While we're in the kitchen, I'm just gonna take a moment to talk about some of the appliances that are included with the price of the house. So currently, DR Horton as a standard offers the microwave, the oven and range, and the dishwasher included with the price of your home. Now, they are running some incentives right now that may offer additional appliances. Um, I've seen them offer refrigerators in some of the communities. Usually it's depending on the home site and if it's pretty far along and they're trying to sell it more quickly, they'll usually incentivize you with more things like that. On top of that, if you are a buyer who's kind of struggling with interest rates right now and you know the almost 8% interest rate is making it kind of impossible for you to afford a home right now, Buyers all across Central Florida are buying down interest rates if you use their in-house lenders. So I'm not gonna give you an exact quote of interest rates just because they are changing frequently and you can just send me a message if you want more info. But we're seeing interest rates being bought down, you know, lower than 7%, sometimes even lower than that if it's an FHA or VA loan. So that's really gonna help make your payments more affordable and let you get into a house now while the market is not super competitive. Because as we know, if the interest rates start going down, we're gonna start seeing more competitive markets where we might be seeing multiple offers and things like that. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to buy now, new construction might be the way to go. And then obviously you're probably wondering what this home is going to cost you. But first, a little bit of a disclaimer, new construction pricing changes all the time. Honestly, by the time you're watching this video, the price may have gone up a little bit. So make sure you reach out to me for updated pricing. I stay on top of all of these builders that I film and I keep up to date pricing lists every week. So my email address is right here. All you have to do is shoot me an email if you want more information or pricing about this home or any of the other homes that I film and I will gladly send you updated pricing and the incentives that they're currently offering. Let's keep looking at this gorgeous house now. So now let's check out the laundry room. This laundry room is massive. 
Um, this home does not include a washer and dryer, so you will have to bring that. And then, oh, this is just the air handling unit, so there you go. And then it is a three car garage, which is amazing. It's huge. Let's uh, flip on the light, sorry guys. So three car garage, and you will see, there is a garage door opener on that one and not that one for some reason, but usually these homes don't come with garage door openers, so you would have to provide them for yourself, or if the builder happens to be offering an incentive at the time of your purchase, every once in a while they'll include a garage door opener, but that's just something to notate. And then you'll see there's a little, a little breakfast nook over here as well. Since there's room for such a large table, I don't necessarily know that you would need it, but it looks cute, so why not? Um, and then let's just check out this side of the house really quickly. We have an additional bedroom over here and this one is modeled as a bedroom. This is a very similar size to the other two, but this gives you a better idea because it actually has a bed in it. Not the biggest rooms I've ever seen in my life, but they definitely do the job. And then let's take a pop into one of these closets so you can see, okay, that door's not open. <laughs> but just to give you an idea of the closet size. And then you'll see there's a bathroom right off of this bedroom as well full bathroom, there's a shower tub combo, and a single vanity. But what's really nice about this is there is a door to the outside right from here. So, you know, if you were able to build a pool on your lot in this community, this would make a great pool bathroom. By the way, in this community, they are larger oversized lots. So I get a lot of people that are looking for more yard space, you know, new construction. Usually the lots are very small, like 35, 40 feet. I believe the builder said these were built on 85 foot lots, so much bigger than the standard, which is amazing if you're looking for a little bit more backyard. And then actually, let's just pop in to this patio really quickly because I really like a few things about it. Give me a second. So this is a fully covered patio. It is not screened in, but you could very easily hire someone to screen this in after closing. But it's a nice base. You could put a grill out here. You and the family can enjoy dinner out here. And again, with approval from the HOA and if the lot allowed it, you could put a pool back here as well since it's on a larger lot. So I just really like the outdoor space out here. And now we're gonna continue the rest of the tour. And obviously I saved the best for last, but really quick, one thing that just caught my eye that I wanted to talk about is all DR Horton homes are smart home equipped. So they all come with this panel already installed. So you'll see you can do lots of fun things with this system, such as manage your security system. You can put some smart plugs in so you can manage lights from here. You can even unlock or lock the front door. And all of this is on an app on your phone. So you can turn on lights and unlock your front door from your phone, say, as you're approaching your house. So I really like that this technology is already included because it makes your house a smart home the second you move in, which is awesome. So I saved my favorite room for last, which is the primary suite. It is absolutely gorgeous. So they definitely spare no expense in this room. There are lots of upgrades in here. As I mentioned before, this is a higher end neighborhood. So the upgrades that are in here are standard. So you'll notice there's tray ceilings. Those are standard in the primary suite in this home. The carpet is also upgraded and they use an upgraded padding. So as you're walking through it, it's very soft and bouncy, which I love. Um, there is two windows in this room, so tons of natural lighting, and it's a decent size. This is a king bed, and there's two pretty large end tables on each side of the bed, and it still has some room, so definitely a very spacious bedroom. And then my favorite part, too, is there's two different closets. So this side's a little bit bigger, so you guys can argue over who gets the bigger closet and who gets the smaller closet, but it's kind of nice. You could use this as a linen closet for the bathroom or shove whoever has less clothes in that side and you can steal this side for yourself. And then here is the bathroom. I love a split vanity moment because I don't know about you guys, if you live with someone who's a little bit messy and you have one extended vanity, sometimes their mess gets over on your side of the vanity. So I love that these are totally separate. Keep all of your things separate. You have your own storage. It's amazing. And there's also another linen closet in here. So there's tons of storage in this bathroom. Now, another thing that I'm gonna point out that people tend to really like 
especially the millennials, you guys want a bathtub in the primary suite and a lot of builders aren't building them for some reason anymore. Like, I don't understand why. I personally love taking baths multiple times a week. But anyway, this bathroom has a separate bathtub and a separate shower, so both are covered. And then you have the separate water closet as well. for watching this video. If you want any more information about this home, this community, or any of the communities in Central Florida, all you have to do is send me a message. All of my info is at the end of this video. I do new construction, resale, I even do short-term rental, Airbnb investments, or I can help you sell your house in Central Florida. I do it all. So like I said, my contact info will be at the end of this video. If you're looking to find your happily ever after in Orlando, send me a message and let's make some magic.